I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but after owning the Victorinox Cadet for over two years now and attempting to integrate it into different levels of my everyday carry system, I can tell you with confidence, it's not a great multi-tool. And there are three more capable alternatives if you're wanting a pocket-ready multi-tool for your EDC system. So I'm looking forward to seeing how many of you agree and disagree with this hot take on this very popular Swiss Army knife. I'm Aaron, this is Gideon's Tactical, let's dive in. Now our launch pad starts with carryability. The Cadet is nice and slim, pretty compact and lightweight. That's a plus, but you can only attach it and carry it through a key ring. Now, if you're like me, my key ring looks a lot like this. It is monstrous. Then you're gonna add something like this to it. So it better bring a lot of capability to the table if I have to add that to my key ring and I just don't feel like it does. For starters, in that same pocket, I carry all my keys. I always have a dedicated pocket knife. A lot faster to deploy, usually will have a better steel than what you're gonna get on a Victorinox and does all the tasks that the main blade would do. So this becomes redundant. Sure, it's always nice to have a backup, but this always is what I'm gonna to gravitate to first. And since it's always in my pocket, there's no real need for me to ever deploy this blade. Then the next implement, which has never really made sense to me, it's a very fine file and that's it. Maybe you can do some minor prying and some very small flathead or Phillips heads with this. And I found it can work about 30 to 40% of the time, depending on the smaller screw. For whatever reason, this one, it can get if I'm careful and not strip it out. But if I try to do this one in here, no matter what I do, I just end up stripping the screw. You can see there a little bit of metal shavings. If you were to ask me what is one of the main tasks I run into that I need my pocket multi-tool to accomplish, it is retracting and then rescrewing in recessed smaller flathead and Phillips head screws. And none of the implements on the cadet are able to accomplish that task. Now, before I highlight those three alternatives that are able to achieve that task, as well as many others a lot better than the cadet, I wanna give a quick shout out to today's sponsor, which is Huckberry. And I wanna highlight the Proof Trail Grid Fleece Series of Apparel. This grid design gives you more breathability, insulating power, and moisture wicking than just a standard run-of-the-mill fleece. And with currently three different styles to choose from, including vest, jacket and what I'm wearing hoodie, it gives you a level of versatility as the temperatures start to drop and we get into the colder seasons. And regardless if it's scoring that last fall camping trip for the season or like what I've recently experienced, a multi-day backpacking trip in the Colorado high country where it was 65 during the day, but 38 overnight, this was able to keep me warm on those evenings, but also cool during the day while we were enjoying some epic fishing. So I'll have a link in the description below this video over to the Huckberry website where you can check out all the proof apparel as well as tons of other excellent gear and equipment. And I'll have my exclusive 10% off promo code which you can apply towards your very first purchase. So I encourage you guys hop on over to Huckberry and see all they have to offer. Now if we're sticking with Swiss Army knives and we want to have better access to be able to extract screws, the Tinker is a better option. At half the cost, you are going to get that 3D Phillips screwdriver bit that will be able to access a lot, not every, but a lot of Phillips head screws that may be recessed into your child's toy or some sort of implement that you're working on. And it makes it a lot easier to do the work that needs to be done. And it's gonna be about the same profile and just slightly thicker and give you a few other implements than what the cadet can give you. But if you need even more capability, the Leatherman Skeletool with its two size 3D Phillips bits or replaceable flatheads that also ride in the body make it much easier to work on a plethora of different equipment that have recessed Phillips or flathead screws. But if you were to ask me what the ultimate tool is to access these compact recessed screws, it would be the SOG power pint i believe it's the mini maybe it's not i don't know i annotated it i can't remember mini or just power pint i got this last year and it really blew me away because it has this extended flat head that can really get into those small tight spaces and then this 3d phillips driver is able to access and even though it looks pretty small a lot of larger screws as well 
and they function a lot better than any of the other tools that I have mentioned for those compact scenarios, which let's be real, that's what a keychain or pocket size multi-tool that you're gonna be carrying every day is really gonna be required to do. If you have heavy duty, larger tasks to do, then you're gonna be carrying a very large plier-based multi-tool either in a pocket or in its pouch. And as we swing back to the cadet, there's only two other main implements that this tool even offers. A bottle lifter, bottle cap remover, which is great. And I probably use it a couple times a year when there's no bottle lifter anywhere around in the restaurant or gathering that I'm hanging out with and I need that, but it's not essential to me. And then a can opener. And I can't remember the last time I busted out this tool when I had it on me to open a can. Sure, in a survival scenario, but we're not talking about that. We're just talking about everyday carry. And I have survival kits and EDC pouches with huge multi-tool layouts that I carry in my backpack and you know with me. This is on body. When was the last time you actually used this to open a can when you were carrying this on a body. Now it does have a wire stripping notch, but you have to work that in tandem with the knife. It's quite tedious to score the coating and then strip off. And ultimately you won't be able to clip the wire and size it properly. But the cadet just lacks another vital implement that I use quite often in my regular life. And even the Tinker is not going to have this implement, a decent set of pliers. I just found that I use them more often than you might think, regardless if it's getting in somewhere to pull out a fuse that I'm working on on the RV or a vehicle or some other situation, being able to grip a bolt if I had to, to do something, or a lot of times using the little wire cutters, regardless if it's trimming some wire or recently as I've gotten back into fishing, clipping the fishing line and just doing other things, I find myself using these implements more often than almost any other implement on a multi-tool. And the skill tool is a great option. I've used it a ton in many different scenarios and I often will hold off on the pocket knife and just carry this for the day if I know I'm gonna be using my multi-tool in a lot of different scenarios. Mainly because of its excellent pocket clip and one-handed easy blade deployment, decent liner lock lockup, and then easy to close. It's just slightly bulkier than most pocket knives. And I'll have all the multi-tools that we're talking about today in the links in the description below this video. So the affiliate networks I regularly partner with, so you can check out all the different variations and I always appreciate it if it's time to pick up a multi-tool to use those links provided below. But if I'm carrying my pocket knife, ultimately I have found I keep going back to the SOG power pint because I can carry it on my weak side in an excellently designed pocket clip. It does have a lanyard attachment, key ring attachment if you did want to do that. But for the same cost at about $40 to $45 as our cadet, I found I carry it more and I use it a lot more because of the extra implement of the pliers to do all those small tasks, the Phillips and flathead, serrated and plain edge, as well as pair of scissors that can work in a pinch. Now I know, I know, many of you are gonna comment and say, hey, I don't live in the United States, I can't have a locking blade, so I'm stuck with Swiss Army tools. I totally get it, and I understand that, and in a lot of ways, this video may not really apply to you. And I understand some of you are like, well, just throw that in your coin pocket. Well. I often wear pants that don't have coin pockets, particularly my athletic pants that I use when I go hiking and backpacking or today when we're RVing, I'm using you know wicking pants that don't have that secondary pocket. So where am I gonna put the cadet? And again, it's going to be lagging in most screw driving extraction that I'm gonna need as well as the pliers implement. It's just those two features are must for me if I'm going to dedicate pocket space in my everyday carry system. That's me guys, that's my mileage. I look forward to hearing your guys' thoughts. Leave comments below. I know it's gonna be spicy in those comments, but I gotta give it to you straight and I gotta share with you my experience to help you better determine for yourself how to line up your gear and equipment to use in the best scenario. And I'm sure the cadet is epic for some of you and I look forward to hearing why in that comment section below. I invite you to check out the other video popping up to subscribe again if you haven't yet. And until next time, always remember, stay equipped, stay prepared, and I'll see you out there.